Hey guys, and welcome back for some more Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. It's been quite a while, because... If you've been like, what, if you were like the first person to subscribe to me, and you're somehow still here, then you will know, ever since the days of old, my computer is just terrible. So yes, there are more computer problems, but got them fixed. And now, uh, I'll be making videos again, yay, okay. So, when we last left off... I don't particularly remember. Yeah, hang on, let's check the map. Right, we gotta go to Woohoo Hernivers University. We gotta go there to the destroy the calculus. Uh, yeah. <laughs> totally. Um, so, I think uh, at this point there are going to be new items and gear for us to buy, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, we can now buy 1-Up Mushrooms, which is very useful. They're only, uh, I mean, they're 77 coins. They're expensive, but hey, they're really good to have. I'm gonna get a few of those. Um, you, don't really, you don't really ever need to buy more than like five max uh, refreshing uh, herbs, just because you, you really don't get punished with status ailments a lot. And now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know of any status ailment other than tripping or being poisoned, so, you know. Um, so we got some uh, new equipment now, some new gear. Uh, we have the parasol pants, the hard pants, and the heart jeans. Um, this will, um, now, again, when it shows right here, uh, those, like, the, you know, raising and lowering, I'm fairly certain that's in terms of uh like what i have on now like if i d get rid of what i have on now like here uh let me unequip those bean trousers first to see if the, the uh number changed because i actually don't know uh let's see oh well right you always have to have something equipped so you know all right well anyway we're buying this stuff because they're it's new like next level gear so let's see Parasol pants will um, increase Mario's HP a bit and lower his defense a bit, but will give him a defense up buff, which is kind of weird. Um, don't know how long the buff would last. Uh, not sure about that. This will uh, increase Mario's defense by a good amount, um, but lower his HP a bit. And then the hard jeans. Oh, we have to scroll to Luigi. These will uh, lower his defense by not a lot, a lot, um, and will increase his HP a bit. Um, okay, uh, I think I may want to just get the hard pants for Mario and the hard jeans for Luigi, because why not? And now, um, just because, wait, hang on. Let's see. Uh, no, we have enough money for stuff here. Um, did these are these new? I they they don't have the thing next to them that says that they're new. But I don't know if that went away because I already checked the gear. That wouldn't make that wouldn't make sense. So so yeah, I think these badges we already have. Although we have earlier badges, so we may as well buy a new badge. So we got the Bean B badge. It's basically a better Bean badge. The counter badge, which increases in counter attack damage, but lowers your BP by a bit. That kind of sucks. I wouldn't really get that. And the charity man. Manager special, what a bargain. Lowers your, your BP a bit, but raises your POW by a decent amount. Um, I think I just want to get the Bean B badge for Mario, because it's just a straight upgrade. And for Luigi, um... None of these would really be that good for, them. All, for him. Also, we can't uh, afford them. And now, uh, I am just gonna sell some gear that we don't need now. Uh, we could just sell the blue jeans and bean trousers, I guess. Oh. Alright, I'm at least gonna sell the bean badge, definitely. Uh, do I wanna sell this? Yeah. Even though it, it, it is kinda good to keep them around, I'm, me personally, I'm never gonna end up going back to other gear just cause that's it's never how I end up playing these but I would suggest just keeping some gear around unless you really need the money 
because you never know unless it's like just very outclassed gear you know there was something I forgot to talk about and I already started like the quest of the Hooniversity and I just remembered so uh, I'm just gonna put this at the beginning um when uh, town is like fully fixed uh, I think the first time it looks wait no this is the first time it looks fixed this building is now open this is something you want to go to Hey, this is the famed Star Beans Cafe that everyone's a buzz about. Got any complaints? Uh, compliments? I, I thought I was reading the same word twice, but I wasn't. Yes, this is a parody of Starbucks, and it's great. Now I already know about this, our special Star Bee system, right? Yes, I do. And I'm gonna explain it to you just quick and easy. So, all of the beans you collect, this is where you take them. This is their main use. Uh, the only use, really. You can brew different kinds of coffees that will permanently increase um, certain stats. This is very good, and you want to put time into doing this. So, um, blending 25 of any one bean type will give you one um, one blend. Woo hoo hoo hoo, chuckle or teehee. And then there are also three like combos. Uh, this one is 15 uh, woo beans and one. Who bean? Um, that was the who love bean. The chuckachino is uh, 15 woo beans, 10 chuckle beans, which we can actually make. Um, and then T espresso is 10 T uh, he beans and 15 woo beans again. So just to remind you, woo beans you get from defeating enemies. Who beans you get from finding them in secret blocks, and there's sometimes valuable prizes in certain games, certain areas. They're just hard to find. Chuckle beans are found on the ground and are this like second. Actually, really, you'll you'll probably get a lot of chuckle beans, more than woo beans even. And then um, T beans, he beans are um, won by uh, completing uh, mini games that you will encounter throughout the story and then you can go back to later, play them again, and get more tea beans. He beans. They're, t they're he beans, not tea beans. <clears throat> okay. So, basically you want to brew at least one of each of these and we'll see why in a minute. I think I'm gonna brew the Hulumbian, no not the Hulumbian, the Shakachino because I think we have enough for that. Yes we do. We don't have 25 of either of these but we have 10 and 15, so yes. And that will give us some nice looking, like, looks like raspberry juice, and that looks pretty good, but it's coffee, so it doesn't look good, because I don't like coffee. Whoa, a power outage? Oh man, I've got a bad feeling about this. Looks like the aroma of you new of your new drink has drawn on, out all the ghosts in the place. Oh, I was wondering who it could be. If it isn't the beloved owner of our cafe, Professor Egad. You know the way Egad talks in a lot of play in a lot of games and stuff makes him sound like he would have a, a deep old man voice, but his actual voice is kind of like a weird little elf creature. So I don't know what to voice to give him. Uh. Welcome to my Star Beans Cafe. Seeing you too. This is a most unexpected change chance meeting. Hey, you guys know the owner? That blending machine is our owner's latest invention. Have you tried the drinks made by my latest invention? The wondrous bean bean machine? It's it's stimulating flavor. There's a glare in the way! It's stimulating flavor will put a spicy tingling in your cheeks. Yes, quite a tingling indeed. Hmm, the rich aromatic aromatic fragrance of that drink. I sense that it's a drink that even I haven't partaken of. May, may I have a drink? Mmm, a delic... A de I don't know how to pronounce it. Delicate... Wait, that's delicately. Delicately? Screw you, I don't care, I'm illiterate. Delicately is bitter flavor. But I think that one makes me crave more. This stuff gives me the energy to push my ghost research into a new dimension. Huh. A new dimension, you say? Like a third dimension? Okay. Thanks for that sampling. Here's a little something I invented in, in my spare time. Maybe it'll aid you. You got the greed wallet. 
Well, I hope you will continue to frequent my fine cafe. I'm always happy to have friends partake in the fine flavors produced by my bean bean machine. So, no, we don't want to continue with it. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad. So, basically, every time you brew uh, a type of coffee for the first time, Egad will come here and uh, give you an item. Uh, a gear item. A special gear item that you cannot get anywhere else. And now that we've gotten at least one of them, now you can see this little ribbon section for gears. Uh, that's for these special items. So the greed wallet basically just gives you twice as much money you will get uh, from defeating enemies. This is very good to have, and it works on either bro. Uh, some of the items only affect one bro, while the others affect both of them at once. So, you know, um, we'll see more of those later. And, you know, it's just a very important thing to do, a very interesting thing to do, and, uh, yeah. I hope I didn't waste too much time with that, but yeah. So anyway, I just wanted to show that because it's pretty important, and uh, also, I do this a lot whenever I get one for the first time and I get the gear item, I forget to actually use the uh, coffee. So using it once will, the Chococino, using it once will give you four defense on your bro. Uh, I think I want to give that to Luigi. And uh, yeah. But with that, we shall head on to back to our adventure. As, as Stuffwell would say, back to adventure, huzzah. Okay, so the Who University is this way. Huzzah, let's go. Oh, shit. Black pee. Alright, uh, down here. Roll. Uh, I mean, my hand. Okay, yeah, we got uh, the hammer abilities right. Um, we can actually go up here and uh, hammer Luigi into ground. Get the chocolate. Yeah, uh, in the last, like, chapter, I want to say, just because even though there's no actually real determined chapters in this game it functions like chapters so I'm gonna say in the last chapter of this game we got the hammer abilities so now uh, in the fields around Bean Bean Castle you'll notice now all the bean spots that we have access to so I'm gonna want to get those when I can I'm not gonna go like bean hunting or at least not quite yet but whenever I see him I'm gonna go get him and I thought we got the advanced commands for the hammer specials Hammer bros attack, so well. Uh, let's just. Alright, uh, so let's get that one. Any others in this area? What's going on up here? You can pass, or so I've been instructed to say. Alright, oh, this leads to the university. Uh, let me just. I don't, wanna re I don't really want to pass by anything. Nah, I think we're good. Okay. Let's go! We got a parabini. I think, I'm pretty sure we encountered these already, so, you know. Uh, yes, here we go the right way. Ooh, these enemies. Have we fought them before? I'm not even sure. We probably have, but whatever. I kind of want to talk about these, because these suck. These are true peas. They're the Koopas of the Bean Bean Kingdom, and they suck. They really do. Okay, yeah, my, th my thumb is, like, weirdly numb, so I'm not gonna be good at that attack right now. Uh, okay. Now, if I'm, mis if I'm not mistaken, jumping on them does nothing, and hammer attacks either do nothing or one damage every time. Also, they can heal themselves, so they are, like, tanks. So let's try a normal hammer. Yep, normal hammer is only one. Jumping. Oh, jumping actually does good damage to them. Okay. Yeah, counterattacking is a decent way to attack them. So, what about Splash Bros? Okay, so yeah, jump specials are the key to victory here. Even if you fail them. Uh, what's over here? No, I don't really want to fight those enemies just because I hate them. Also, there are some bean spots that are not marked with an X. Some of them are hidden. Usually in these little plants, yes, there are chuckle beans. Any sort of suspicious looking spot in the ground can also be a bean spot, so there's no harm in checking. Uh. 
three of them. Ha! <laughs> I did a good job. Uh, oh, what's my... Oh, I should... Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna use some syrup. And, uh, just get some mushrooms in. Am I going the right way? Oh, well, I got this. So, yay. Ah, um, she's scabby bleeding. Ew. Woohoo, university! Yes! I have a scab slash pimple on my nose, and it's bothering me, so. Excuse me if I end up, like, touching it, because, nah, I can't resist. Fuck you. Um... There seem to be, like, who uh, chuckle beans on the ground, which is weird. I wonder, actually, if you... They could, the bean spots could be kind of specific. It could be kind of hard to... No? Okay. I feel like they should have done that, because it looks like a chuckle bean. If that's not what that is. Oh. It's bricks. Okay. Uh, weirdly enough, there's no, like, hidden items over here. That's odd. Any on the other side? Hmm. Anything over here? No. So, yeah, this is Woohoo University, the next main area we're gonna be going to. And, uh, yeah, that's it. So, in the next episode, we'll head into this university and see what's all the hubbub. Yeah, when was the last time you heard of that term? Probably never. Alright, yeah, I'm happy to be back. So, uh, that's about it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, and I have to pee.